All right, so welcome. This is a video that will be going over the exact sales template that we use when we, we get incredible results for our clients. Now, obviously we tailor, we got to take this template with a pinch of salt. We tailor it to every client that comes on board with us. We tailor it um, to their specific needs and to their specific business. But this is the template that we roughly use for each and every one of our clients. And it absolutely crushes such great results. And that's why we allowed to have such a great guarantee is because it gets such great results for our clients. And this is a key part of the marketing cycle to get leads to convert into actual sales and actually get business into your into your base coming in and actually wanting your service. Because if you don't follow up with them and if you don't have a script to book them in, then it's gonna be pretty dire because this is the 80-20 rule. You ads could be the 80%, but following up and actually having a sales script is your 80% that will get them through the door. So with no further ado, let's check it out. So welcome back. So I'm not too sure about why this lighting is so um, dark in this room. It's actually really, really, really bright. Um, but maybe that's why it's a bit dark. Um, but anyways, let's get on with the rest of the video and let's actually provide some value. So this is the exact template that we use with our customers, with our clients, that they use to get more customers into their base. Now, as I said earlier, this is the 80-20 rule, right? So you will get 80% of your leads through here. You won't rely on the other 20%, which is the actual ads. If you're not running the ads, of course, you're not going to get any through. But this is the actual one that actually converts uh, cust uh, you know, leads, no, people who don't even know your business, into actual sales for your business. So... Here they are. So obviously I've used my name here, but you go, hey, this is Seb. Um, so you'd have their name. So you'd fill in their name there. Hey, Paul, this is Seb with Radvertising. I know you were trying to text back and forth a little bit, but I thought I'd just give you a call this time. You could say to cut out all the faff, or you could even just call them up straight away and have automations as the uh, follow ups. Uh, just reconfirm what they've answered in text messages. So when they're filling out forms uh, or you've asked them about their car before they've even you know uh, put in a message. OK, so you've mentioned you've got and then you relate to the pain. So a brand new car or they've got anxiety or scared about, you know, other detailers mucking up, mucking up their cars or so on, and so forth. All these little things that they've got an actual pain. And that's why the reason they book with you, you need to reaffirm that in their mind. And you say right at the end and they come back. Awesome. Also, uh, you mentioned that your car is um, a BMW or this year's old and in X, Y, Z condition. Right. And they say yes. And then great. You also mentioned that you wanted it done because of this reason. So you're reaffirming that action in their reason in their mind. So then you say, right. OK. And then you schedule in them, them in straight with the pro. Um, and that is the pro is you just to give you some context. The pro is you All right? that you're the professional. You're the one. And if they've got any questions, they ask you. So perfect. Let's uh, or if you've got anyone, just a uh, side note, if you've got anyone on front desk or you've got anyone actually hired for this job of calling the leads, then they'll just talk to them as if they are the pro. Perfect. Let's get a great time scheduled in. Do mornings or afternoons typically work best for you? So obviously, this is the illusion of choice that I've gone over in a previous video, which is a sales tactic. And you could use this in many, many more ways down the line. And I said this could play out the illusion of choice here. So check out the other video if you're not too sure what I'm talking about with the illusion of choice. But you could go into a bit more further detail there and use it a couple more times. Oh, I have the perfect time for you this morning, Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. Now, you want to say this really, really enthusiastically. So you want to say, oh, I've got the perfect time for you. You're coming in this Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. That affirms into their mind that it's a really, really good slot and that you've booked out the rest of the time. How does that work for you? Obviously, while you're getting them scheduled in, you go, OK, blah, blah, blah. You're getting them scheduled in or writing in your diary, so on. Um, and then basically you talk to them while you're doing. You never really want it to be quiet or awkward. That's a that's a hard sale if it's quite awkward. It's very difficult to follow up and especially this next step. Great. So I have you down for 3.30 on Wednesday. <clears throat> Let me send you a quick notification to confirm your booking. So you just send uh, a quick message to confirm the booking. So you've got their number and it's all come through. Um, and then you basically send them a text message and then you don't have to do this type yes to reply. That's an automation if you've got those in, in your workflows. But you want to say wonderful. So just one last thing. We do get very busy in our bay. So no shows really do disturb our schedule and mess up our workflow to avoid any no shows uh, for your appointment to get locked into our calendar. So we actually reserve your place. We do take all payments over the phone to reserve your spot. Or you could say we take down a little cash deposit or we take down this that you could get straight away if you didn't get it back. 
And that's just to get them secured into the business because we really, really, really don't want them. You know, no shows are really difficult, especially in the detailing or automotive business because you've actually scheduled out a block for them. So you really, really want to get that deep. And especially if you're doing PPF, like PPF, you've got to cut the materials before the cars even arrive, really. So especially that you want to take down a deposit, a deposit uh, according to the service size. Um, we normally take about £50 pound deposit if it's a, you know, um, about 250 to 500 quid detail or something like that offer. Um, but if you're looking at PPF, like 2,500, you just want to cover your cost, really. Um, so you can either t tell us about your card number. So basically, you say uh, to reserve your spot. And you can either tell me your card number, and I can take a card for a care, care of it for you and do it over the phone. Or if you don't feel comfortable with that, which I totally understand, I can send you a link to your phone and you can do it yourself. Um, it's just because a lot of people have a bit of resistance with it. Um, just not sure if they've just not met you before. They bit bit unwary when they send you their card info and all that kind of stuff. So what works better for you? And then you say their name at the end. Paul. While they're putting in their info, uh, you talk about their job, work, pain, family, you know, anything that, uh, you know, you should never be quiet is what I'm trying to get across. You know, it should never be an awkward silence. You just want to be, you know, even if you um and ah are in when you're doing this, the certain things, you're just explaining exactly what you're going through or what you the process that you're doing. So, um, yeah, Paul, I'm just getting you written in my diary here and on the software. So you just say that literally narrate as you go through and ask them questions about their family, about their job, anything that revolves around their daily lives. And then once it goes through, also it looks like the payment went through uh, and our calendar is also updated. Thank you so much. And then Paul, uh, we'll see you on Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. And obviously this is literally how you want to do it. And you do want to get the actual money over the phone. You don't want to leave it with them. They won't do it. They won't complete it. If they're over the phone, you go, oh yeah, you can get back to it. You let them do it. So you fill it, you give them the link, but they do it themselves on that call. And then you receive it. And after the call, you want to send something personal message. We always do this with our clients. It's a really, 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 really good thing, especially when they're coming in for a high spec detail. Um, you want to message them before, um, you know, just after they basically, um, but before they come in, but just after they've booked in. Um, and you want to remove any buyer's remorse and overall basically have a great experience. It improves customer experience so much and gives a really, really good personal touch with it. Something like this. Um, hey Paul, it's Seb from Revertising. Uh, we spoke on the phone earlier. It was really good to chat to you and then say something about like if they've had something with their family where they were talking to you about that. Do you want to make it a little bit more personal? So if you do have any other questions, Paul, don't be afraid to ask. Um, I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can or remember on my team will. Um, and yeah, look, we look forward to seeing your car in our detailing bay and really ultimately your reaction after you see the absolute amazing work that we've done for you. So till then, Paul till then whatever so till then paul so you could say anything like that along those lines um and it really does gives a personal touch to the finished product of selling and it really really doesn't give any buyers remorse they feel really confident that they've chosen you over any other service so these are literally as i said this is a template so take it with a pinch of salt it's not anything like you shouldn't just copy and paste this you should put your own tweak on it you should ask many different questions for your service, for your niche, for what you're providing, what your offer is, um, who your clientele is. But obviously, when you're running ads, these are all things that you put in pre, so pre like ad. So those are your targeting, and then you go into this, and you can tweak it along with that. And that's what we do with all our clients. Uh, this video and look, if you are struggling or you'd like to get some more customers into your detailing bay or automotive business uh, with systems on demand like that, then look, there's a link in the description. But but you don't have to click on it, and it's not. Uh, a funnel that's gonna you know send you to a webinar or a case study funnel or any free training it's just literally me in front of a camera telling you exactly what my business does and how it can help you solve the problem so if you are curious on how we help detailers and automotive businesses past the point of these videos then just go and click just go and click on the um, link in the description there if you did like this video um, then please press the like button um, if you did you know have any questions or you know video ideas later down the road or you want to you know know something else about this um, phone calling script then just let me know in the comments if you thought there was any value in this video for automotive businesses owners or detailers uh, then please press the subscribe and let them know about us because you know we want to reach as many detailers and automotive businesses as possible so we can spread the word and start revolutionizing client acquisition for automotive businesses so yeah that's the end of the video thank you for staying really i genuinely do appreciate you staying for the rest of the end of the video and have a great rest of the day